Fox and Sophia does it. This video is about going to the movies. So I've always enjoyed the movies. And when I went blind, nothing changed. So before I found out about things, which is the audio descriptive device, I used to have whoever I was going to the movies with sit beside me and describe it. But that was like ruining it for everybody. Um, and then when I went to vocational rehab, they told me about the audio descriptive devices, the audio description on TV. And so when I go to the movies now, I always ask for these because they're not, these are actually required. Not this particular one, but ADA requires them to make, these will have accommodations for those who are blind and visually impaired. So any movie I go to, I ask for these to make sure that I can enjoy the movies also. So it's not just the movies though. So on Netflix, any original Netflix show has audio description. Um, Apple TV is really good about it. And regular channels, ABC, NBC, Fox, all of those have audio descriptions so that, you know, if you're blind and visually impaired, you can still enjoy the movies. Um, so let me show you this one. So I'm at um, University City Walk Cinemark, and theirs is like a newer version because some of the older movie theaters have the ones with the cord on it and a box. But this one is just wireless, and then it has a little button on the side. Um, usually I get two of these just in case this one doesn't work so nobody has to miss any of the movie. But like I said, this is how I enjoy the movies. When I used to tell people, I love going to the movies. They were like, well, dude, you're blind. This is how nothing has changed. I still love the movies. And this device helps me continue to watch them. Thanks for tuning in to Sophia Does It. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And also like my video. Share it with your friends. Thanks. Oh, and also, excuse my hair. It's rainy in Florida. And the humidity is fierce. <laughs> but thank you.